in your 30-year career, you fix two struggling companies, Sintel and now WNS, which you are now CEO. Where did you get this knack for fixing companies? What's your secret formula? Well, actually, you know, uh, my focus has not been really on fixing things. My focus has always been on, you know, understanding business and growing businesses. So, you know, while I was studying and doing my chartered accountancy, on the side, I yeah. actually helped create two new businesses as well. And I learned a lot from those businesses because I was interacting with people, you know, directly at the, you know, street level and understanding what a customer really wants. That's where this whole impact of value-driven businesses it really impacted me, one. Uh, thereafter, you know, my focus was on, you know, how do I get uh, people, other people, you know, to get involved in this, you know, long-term journey. And therefore, the whole focus on talent management, making sure that, you know, the, the organization that we ran was seen as one where, you know, there is a hierarchy, mm -hmm. but really everyone sees themselves as equal, performing, understanding what the vision is, what the values are, understanding what the impact of uh, uh, differentiation is, and then driving uh, outcomes. So for me, the focus has always been leveraging the right people, leveraging the right you know, value system, creating absolute cl clarity in terms of uh, mission, vision, value proposition, and then leading people to drive higher top line, bottom line, and market impact. And I think that's Sounds very theoretical. Do you have no, it but it, it works. It's worked <laughs> twice, and it can work in the future as well. How much of your turnaround strategy is based on gut instinct? I think a lot of it. I, I, I take decisions yeah. very quickly. So I'm very clear in terms of what the organization needs to do, and I communicate it across the company, right? Uh, but there are times where, you know, while I'm democratic and while, you know, people, you know, I take views from everyone, there are times where ultimately you've got to make a call mm -hmm. on certain things, and I make that call, you know, very quickly. So I think the good thing that my people say about me is the fact that, you know what, if there's uncertainty, we can just go to this guy and he will make a call, right or wrong, he'll make the call, mm -hmm. right? He'll do and something. I think, yeah, 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 absolutely. Sometimes it's wrong, but we, you know, course correct very quickly. But uh, till now, you know, we've generally been okay. You're 54 years old, trained as a chartered accountant, spent 13 years with ITC, switched to Sintel, put on this uh, BPO um, outsourcing strategy for the company, which turned it around. Then you joined WNS in 2010. How would you describe your leadership and your management style? Well, I would say it is, uh, you know, first of all, very collegial. Uh, from, from my point, point of view, it is, I'm very transparent in terms I, of what I want. The, in terms of uh, what I want at the company, uh, I'm very clear that you know, it is a meritocracy. Uh, there's absolute clarity in terms of what we want to get done. But you know, I'm very democratic, I'm very transparent, I get people you know, aligned around the common cause, and we together work as a team to drive the results. What drives you? What motivates you? Well, growth and success for, my, for me and my team. Is there anything that you don't like or dislike? Sometimes if I'm not able to fix something, you know, as quickly as I would like it to, I get impatient and I don't sleep well at night uh, about that. But otherwise, generally I'm a happy-go-lucky guy. So I really, you know, uh, believe that there is no, hmm. you know, there is no uh, way you can fail as long as you're confident and you're, you know, focused on getting the right things done. You're an avid cricketer, something you inherited from both your parents. Is there anything about cricket that you would bring to the world of business? Absolutely. I think, you know, cricket, football, some of these team games helps you appreciate the impact of everyone in the team. Mm -hmm. And the fact that, you know, uh, quite often many of them are performing well and there are times when some, some of us don't perform well. And that's when the team gets together and carries them. And I think I've learned a lot, you know, from mm -hmm all my sporting kind of uh, um, affiliations. Do you always play to win? You hate losing? Yeah, I play to win, that's, that's for sure. I play <laughs> to win and uh, if I lose, we learn from it. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, after turning around two companies, you're looking to turn around a third? Not necessarily. I actually think that you know, the opportunity at WNS is massive you know, from here. I think we're at the third phase of growth for the industry. And I think WNS, you know, based on its positioning, can lead the next level of growth for the industry. And, and therefore, from my perspective, I think I'm really focused on, you know, uh, driving, you know, uh, you know, more momentum here. And uh, I don't see any reason why I cannot take the market cap from where it is to a much higher multiple 
and the overall impact of this company as the most successful company in the space to the next level. So the turnaround king is staying put for now? Yeah, I think so. And that was Keshav Murugesh, Group CEO of WNS. Hope you've enjoyed the program. Do check us online at managingasia.cmbc.com for more exclusive leadership insights. Until next time, I'm Christine Tan. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Christine Tan, and thanks for watching Managing Asia on CNBC Live. You can check out more of our great content by clicking on the videos on screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the very best in feature programming. Thanks for watching.